And we're back with Will the Foe with my friend here, Kyle Crafty, playing some Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Because I'm honestly not sure that Kyle is. So... Hey. We'll just see who does a little bit better here. I mean, honestly, we're playing co-op more or less, but... You know, it's, it's a US Central game, so I'm gonna need Kyle's help here to answer a lot of these questions, honestly, because... If you haven't realized by my voice, I am from Australia and have absolutely no idea about the US. So, let's start a new game here. Let's do this. I'm, I'm nervous. Greater. I'm afraid I'm not going to get the questions right. You enjoying yourself? I like the song. I don't oh, know any what? of the words except for the Are oh, You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I can't even hear the song, so... I can't, hey, Jeff. Uh, hey. He's, he's looking mighty unattractive now. <laughs> when was he ever attractive? Well, less attractive than before. He's got a pretty glorious mustache, to be honest. I can't disagree with that at all. He looks pretty, pretty awesome with that mustache. He does make me want to kill myself just a little bit on the inside, though. Oh, that's depressing. Kyle, we have two cheats. Two we cheats. We can peek at our classmates' paper, Ooh. or we can copy their paper. Mm. I never cheated in school. I feel like I should have. Yeah, people usually cheated off me, so. Yeah, same. Not so we're meant we're to brag this, here, but I mean, you're a pretty smart cook. This is what you're getting at. Cookies don't have brains, Kyle. Well... Yeah, now who's the smart one? Mm. Thought we were friends. Idiot. Oh. Alright, what's the but first we're question? We're meeting our, our classmates here. We've got Amanda, Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Oh, all like of Logan. whom the facial modeling is absolutely brilliant. Amanda here looks like Miranda Kerr, to be honest. But, oh, uh, really? Joseph has glasses, so we're picking him first. I'm imagining, like, train simulator facial models. Better. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, Carl, let's, let's pick our topic here. I think we should probably start off with some of the first grade questions. Let's do it. Because that's what they actually did when they were young. Mm-hmm. So, we get astronomy or animal science? Astronomy, please. Okay, astronomy it is. The question is, true or false, you can see the planet Saturn with the naked eye. Hmm. True or false? I think... I think true. True. So that's a unanimous true here. Let's let's yeah. hope. Well, I know We're you can gonna... see Venus and Mars. Yeah, you can definitely see Mars, so I'm going to lock it in. That's it. Yeah, let's do this. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. We have made it to $1,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Easiest Saturn, thousand Venus, thousand. Mars, Jupiter, and sometimes Mercury can be seen with the naked eye. Oh, more than I thought. So, we're going to move over to the first grade animal science now and make our way up. Oh boy. This is where I didn't do the best. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to, like, not even bother telling you this, because okay. the answer's false. Well, it what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> is the following dinosaur a Tyrannosaurus Rex? And it was like, a Parasaurolophus. Oh, joy. Yeah. I probably would have failed because I grew up in a heavily religious family. <laughs> yeah, dinosaurs <laughs> didn't exist, Kyle. Only no, Jesus did. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go on. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go with uh Amanda here cuz she's a girl and girls if I remember primary school were smart. They usually were. Okay, so now we've got to second grade animal science or second grade U.S. geography. Let's go with geography. Oh, yeah. U.S. geography. So you're in your element here. Oh, so am. And I'm probably going to have to sit back. Yes, good. So how many state names begin with the letter D? Damn. Um, Zero, that's... one, two, or three. I know Delaware does, but I can't think of any other that starts with a D. Uh, so I'm going to go with one. I mean, unless the Dakotas count, we've got North and South Dakota. I don't think those start with D. I'd say. say no. So yeah, then Delaware, so one. Okay, I'm gonna go with one here. I can't really dispute you, but I think it's three. No, zero. I'm going with zero. Delaware's not a state. What? 
Okay, then it's Denmark <laughs> estate then? What? I don't understand you. <laughs> you got the right answer, Kyle. Oh, yeah. Where I come from, we call that the right answer. Woohoo! Jeff, you really know how to make a boy laugh. Okay, second grade animal science it is. Oh, boy. I'm really not too confident in my animal science. It's okay, Kyle. True or false, the following animal is an invertebrate, and the picture is of a crab. So the answer... False. True. <laughs> invertebrate. See? No spine. No, no spinal. Okay. Duh. See? I, that's what I'm telling you. I only recently learned evolution was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's because of you. Thank you so much for opening my eyes, Will. Uh, it's okay, Kyle. Uh, right. yeah, so we got that one right, and we're up to our next classmate. What would you say is a smart name here? Logan, Cynthia, or Ard? Logan that sounds is... like a jackass, so we're gonna go with Cynthia. Well, they made a really bad decision here and put one of the kids' heads in front of another kid's name plate, so I can't tell who they are. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Yeah. Anyway, we're going with third grade world history here, which probably means American history. Probably. Who was Almost the Carthaginian general who attacked the Roman Empire by taking his army through the Alps? Hannibal. I'm going to say Hannibal. Indeed. Hannibal. Locking it in, Jeff. That is correct. That is correct. Oh, yeah. I love my Roman no history. Hannibal was a scary, scary dude. Okay, we've managed to win $25,000, and we can't get any worse than that now. Can't? So, Nope, we're going home with twenty-five grand. Without question. Without question, even if we fail. Oh, that's just too easy. No wonder this show plummeted. Okay. We're doing... Oh, what is the plural of woman? Women! <laughs> no, no, I think it's womanes. It's womans. No, it's Womanes. I almost, I almost, yeah, let's just, let's just go with this, man. We need to, we need to win this. We absolutely have to win this, man. Come on, get your shit together. Well, sorry, I'm just listening to Jeff's amazingly boring voice here. Oh. Not that oh. I could necessarily talk. I'm sure somebody thinks I'm boring, but dear God, Jeff. Let's get your shit together. I'm picking Ard. Pick Whoever that is. I don't know. That's not even his name. I just can't see what his name actually is. Okay, we've got the choice of fourth grade animal science or fourth grade math. Uh, let's go with some math. Okay, Kyle, but I'll have to tell you, this was one of my best subjects in primary school, so... Let me get a pen and, p and paper here. Alright, I'm ready. I have to add with my fingers to this day. How many lines of symmetry are found on the following shape? One, zero, two, or three? What's the shape? Yeah. Have a guess. <laughs> Is it a square? No. Oh, it's a triangle. No. I don't know. You don't guess the shape, Kyle. Is it a just, rhombus? It's a like the- No! Just- Nothing. I'm just gonna- Probably three- I, I'm going with three. Fine, I feel valued. Fuck you, Jeff! What was the question? What was the answer? Well, I got it right, but he was like, Oh, only after a few hours of deliberation. <laughs> oh, Shut nice. up, Jeff. It took them like a term to learn that, I reckon. It took Whole me term. like 20 seconds. I wonder what the shape was. Well, you'll have to watch the video, won't you, Carl? I Give me that wanna... sweet, sweet 0.01 .01 cent ad revenue money. <laughs> True Delicious. or false? Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and Skeletosaurus are examples of Thyreophora. Um, does, that mean, does that mean herbivore? You fucking tell me, Kyle. Dude, I have no idea what. I, I recognize Ankylosaurus and Stegosaurus. I don't know what that last one is. Or that last word is, for that matter. I'm really quite confused because this is the American Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader and they've asked two questions about dinosaurs, which I'm pretty sure didn't exist. Yeah, most of us think that, so... I don't even know I'm, who the last dinosaur was. 
<laughs> I'm going to just copy the classmate and fucking hope. Yeah, let's let's pray. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Okay, we've copied him. What was his answer? Hang on, they're building suspense. Oh. Edward says true. We are up to one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. So we got it right. Oh yeah. We did kid. indeed. We are down to our last classmate here. Oh, now geez. we get the choice of fifth grade algebra or fifth grade U.S. history. Let's go with fifth grade U.S. history. I feel I get that a lot easier than I would algebra. Yeah. Well, once again, I'm counting on you here. If the answer isn't Washington D.C., no idea. Oh great. <laughs> Okay, the Boston Tea Party was a response to which act? Taxation Act. The Tea Act? The Iron Act? The Sugar Act? Or the Stamp Act? Stamp Act. Are you sure, Kyle? I'm 98% positive it was the Stamp Act. Do you want to lock it in? It could probably be the Tea Act, man. I haven't learned this stuff in forever. I'm going with Stamp Act, though. Okay, it's locked in. Oh, I can hear the tension build. Your answer is wrong. What? Wait, we might be in it still if our classmate gets it right. It was the T Act. Oh. You're two percent. <laughs> God damn it, Kyle! You gotta learn your U.S. history, dude. God knows I won't. <laughs> this was like ten years ago that I had learned that. Hey, I can probably I'm, I'm answer questions on like. I don't know. To... Oh, come on. Which I'm of the following that I Stamp Act? This one's probably going to be hard for us to like deliberate on because uh, I'd have to be reading you equations. Oh, meaning yeah, that just go with this. In about 30 seconds, my weakness at mathematics is going to show very badly. <laughs> oh, joy. Okay, which of the following is an example of the distributive property? All right, tell me, say them out loud. A brackets B plus C brackets equals brackets A B brackets brackets A C brackets is the first one. And that doesn't seem like the distributive property. What is a distributive property? When it's like foil, I think. What? Man, I don't. I don't know. When I'm picking this the, one. Locked in. When you distribute the the. Uh, Variables around outside of I don't shit man. Oh, fuck you, Jeff. You took your time and really thought about it, and you still answered wrong. Oh, what an ass. I hate I, I'm you, gonna Jeff. Have, I'm, I'm gonna have to look up the distributive property now. I, I just I can't even. Carl, we're up to the final question, and we got it wrong, so we're leaving with twenty five thousand dollars. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Damn. Anyway, should probably wrap it up here. Ugh. That was more difficult than I expected towards the end. Lost it all on the last question. Anyways, I'm Will the Foe. That's Kyle Crafty. Hope you got some kind of sick pleasure out of watching us humiliate ourselves on simple questions from the fifth grade and below. But anyways, if you liked this video, be sure to like it down below and subscribe if you want to see more. I will be back later.